everyone, this is Dawn. If you're new here, welcome. Ito po ang aking channel. This is where I share videos on lifestyle, beauty, living here in Baguio City, and anything under the sun. I also post my vlogs here. And if you are returning, welcome back. And I'm sure nakita niyo po yung title ng aking video. This is the story kung paano kami nakababa ng Baguio, from Baguio City and going back. And kung paano kami nakabalik. Sharing lang po ito um, ng experience namin at kung ano yung mga process na in-undergo namin para makaalis at makabalik din agad. But of course, just as a disclaimer, this is not to promote non-essential travel going to and from Baguio City. Um, Siyempre, importante. Essential travel din siya. Anyway, hindi po ito to promote tourism agad. So, this is for Baguio residents as well or kung sino pa po ang ibang curious dyan kung ano ang ginagawa sa Baguio City. Yun po ang gagawin ko today. Isha-share ko po yung experiences namin and yung process na dinaanan po namin. So, if you're ready, please keep on watching. Before I start, the reference that I used is from the Public Information Office, City of Baguio. Dito po nakalagay ang guidelines for returning Baguio residents and workers' travel authority for those leaving Baguio. Lahat po kasi talaga kailangan ng travel authority. And ang first na i-discuss ko po ay ang types of individuals or groups na kailangan ng travel authority. Types. A. Locally stranded individuals returning to home provinces, siguro mga tourists or mga hindi taga Baguio na gusto umuwi. B. Indispensable or essential travels um, going out of Baguio for humanitarian reasons. Ha. And APOR. Pero yung APOR, workers and APOR leaving Baguio, hindi na kailangan ng travel authority. Um, as shared here. Pero kami, dun kami kasama sa indispensable travel. So, yun po yung isha-share ko ngayon. So, ano ba yung requirements natin para makaalis tayo ng Baguio? Number one, we need a barangay endorsement from the Association of Barangay Council, ABC. May certificate po na ibibigay dyan. Pangalawa, we need a health certificate from any district health centers or one uh, at a one-stop shop at PFVR gym and travel authority from BCPO. Number one at saka number two, nakuha natin yan sa PFVR. Ganito yung itsura ng medical certificate. Ipapakita ko din. Ganito yung itsura ng medical certificate. And ganito din yung barangay certification. Ipapakita ko na lang din dito. So, itong dalawang to, nakuha natin yan sa PFVR. Pumila po kami. Um, also, I wanted to share um, gano'ng katagal um, namin tong pre-nosses bago kami umalis. Our target travel day to leave Baguio was Friday last week. pre namin to ng Tuesday. Minimum na po ang 2 days bago kayo makakuha ng travel authority. So, talagang maglaan kayo ng um, schedule kung kailan kayo kukuha ng authority. So, yon Again, we traveled on a Friday. Uh, leaving Baguio, pero pre na namin siya Tuesday. So, if you can do it, the earlier, the better. So, yun po ang ginawa namin. Pumila po kami sa PFVR. Um, narating kami doon ng mga 7.30, I believe, or past 7. Uh, medyo matagal yung pila, pero libre yung wifi naman. <laughs> Magtanong lang po kayo doon. So, yun po yung isang nakakatuwa kasi nag-provide po ang city government wifi. Although, nakadata na ako noon, pero especially sa mga um, walang uh, data, masaya kasi pwede kayong magnet muna habang naghihintay. And it took us I think an hour and a half um, na nakapila sa labas tapos pumila for the barangay certification and the health certificate as well. By the way, pagdating nyo doon, they will ask you to eto nakuha lang namin na extra, hindi siya na <laughs> accidentally na nakuha namin um, but we didn't really take it, you know for the for this vlog actually sa, sa totoo lang disclaimer day <laughs> kaya wala akong photos and videos sa PFVR kasi ito sana to iba vlog kasi hindi ko alam kung bakit pero last minute may mga nagtatanong kung anong ginawa kong process so ito naisip ko nang gawan um yep yeah. anyway so, um yeah i'll show you i'll show it to you guys here this is the covid triage form anungin kayo ng details travel history nyo medical or clinical criteria Meron ba kayong fever, cough, colds, ganyan. Most important din pala, especially pag nagpre-process na kayo ng documents, kailangan yung magdala ng sarili nyong ball pen. Ito, matagal ko nang pre kasi, I don't know, medyo may pagka-clean freak 
ako slightly um, lagi talaga dapat magdala ng ball pen kahit saan magpunta kasi hindi mo alam kung sino yung kung anong last na hinawakan ng may-ari ng pen so you know safety first all right so after namin makakuha ng barangay certificate at saka medical certificate sa PFVR pumila na din kami well actually yung asawa ko um sa same rin lang sa PFVR um and yet I think ya assess kasi kayo kung essential talaga or non-essential yung pagbiyahe nyo bago kayo makakuha ng travel authority. So, kukunin po yung contact number ninyo tapos i-text kayo or i-contact kayo uh, after around 2 days. Pero sa experience namin faster than that naman. Um, and once na next kayo, pupunta kayo sa Athletic Bowl at doon ibibigay yung travel authority ninyo na ganito yung itsura. Nakalagay dyan, travel authority, yung name ng passengers, sino mga aalis, place of origin, saan kayo pupunta, vehicle, and plate number. Tapos, may remarks na dyan. Na, by the way, kung kukuha kayo ng, kung magrerenta kayo ng sasakyan na paalis ng bagyo, importante ilagay nyo dyan yung plate number at saka yung car model. Para mabilis yung process, kailangan kumpleto na kayo ng information anong klaseng sasakyan, private ba, um, yeah, type, plate number, ganyan, um, all details kailangan kompleto na para mabigyan kayo ng travel authority. Yun. So, after that, uh, I think after a day, na nakuha na din agad ng husband ko yung travel authority. Um, ay, hindi pa siya tinext actually, um, pero sinubukan niya lang nung lumabas siya na grocery konti, dumaan siya sa athletic bowl, and nakuha niya na nga, ready na act ready na pala at that, that time which is commendable kasi ang bilis pala. Nung nakuha na namin yung travel authority, ni-remind din po kami doon sa PFVR na kailangan namin mag-fill up ng form which is or which can be seen at hdf.bagyo.gov.ph Dito po kayo gagawa ng account, one account per person so tag-isa kami ng asawa ko gumawa kami ng account dito um, and Ipapakita ko po kung ano yung mga kailangan. Yep, I'll just show you the video. Here. To register, punta lang po kayo sa hdf.bagyo.gov.ph. Kung sakali pong nakalimutan, i-type lang po ang HDF Bagyo sa Google and i-click lang po ang unang link na lalabas which is eGov Bagyo. After that, dadalhin po kayo sa welcome page and click sign up for an account. Pagkatapos po ay dadalhin kayo sa account registration form kung saan po kayo gagawa ng sarili ninyong account para makaakyat po ng bagyo. Just fill in all the blanks together with your contact details and password. Once natapos na po, just click sign up and then mapupunta po kayo sa dashboard. Click the health declaration form on the left and then you will be able to see this. This is where you will upload yung supporting documents na nakuha nyo po, like the barangay certificate and health declaration forms. Kung meron na po kayong nakuha ang travel authority, pwede nyo na din pong i-upload dito. After that, fill in all the blanks such as the date, type of vehicle, and other information na kinakailangan. Importante din po, pag meron po kayong nakitang red asterisk, kailangan po yung i-fill up at hindi po pwedeng blanko. Aside from the basic information, tatanungin din po sa inyo kung anong sector kayong magagaling. Pwede pong sa manufacturing, retail, private sector, or government sector. Just select kung ano po ang applicable para po sa inyo. Kasama po sa mga itatanong ay kung saan po kayo tutuloy pagkarating nyo po ng Baguio. So sa amin po, address lang po namin ang aming nilagay. At para naman po sa mga magagaling abroad, tatanungin din po kayo kung saan po kayo manggagaling. Pagkatapos po nito, meron pong travel history na tatanungin ulit. And after that, pwede nyo na pong isubmit ang inyong application. Dito po kayo madediretso, babalik po kayo sa dashboard. And meron pong notice on the right side of the screen, makikita nyo po na pending na po ang application. Kung sakali po na meron pong kulang na information or kailangan i-confirm ang city government, kayo po ay tatawagan sa number na inyo pong binigay. Pagkatapos po, kung confirm na po lahat, 
regularly check on your account para po makita nyo kung approved na po ang inyong travel application pabalik po ng Baguio. Alright, so that's the video or just as a screen recording kung ano yung, kung paano namin fill up yung form. And para saan ba ito? This is one way for the government to track individuals na kailangan ng matest. When I uh, asked um, yung isa pong personnel dun sa triage nung nakabalik na kami ng Baguio, kailangan ito to track individuals na kailangan ng matest. Um, ang isang binigay na example sa akin is um, yung mga individuals na pabalik-balik up palabas at pabalik ng Baguio tapos galing sa hot spots I think, yung mga mataas ang COVID cases, um, for example sa NCR, ganyan um, and I think, I'm not really sure pero perhaps yun, makikita nila yung record nga na um, akit, ng, at akit baba ng Baguio and yun, um, that's one possible way to keep the community safe so yun, we filled out the form and everything, um, at saka tatanungin kayo sa checkpoint, lalo pag pabalik na ng Baguio, kung nag-fill up na kayo ng form. So, yun yung napansin namin. Very adamant sila na, na ma-fill upan ang form na ito. That's after you make an account. So, yun, drop and go lang kami. Pagdating namin ng Marcos Highway, dun sa bungad ng Baguio City, nakapila na yung mga sasakyan. So, tatanungin kayo kung saan kayo galing. And then, may two lanes doon. Siyempre, galing kami sa outside of Baguio, outside of Benguet. Doon kami sa pinapila lahat ng sasakyan na kailangan tumaan ng triage. And, habang nakapila yung sasakyan, um, lumabas muna si husband, pumunta siya doon sa may um, tent um, sa may entrance. And then, what you need are your IDs. So, lahat ng passenger ng sasakyan. So, basically, dalawa lang naman kami. Um, kailangan ng ID ninyong dalawa. And then, idadalhin nyo doon sa um, checkpoint pala. Sa checkpoint. So, kukunin nila yung ID ninyo. And then, dederecho kayo sa triage. Um, and then, we were escorted to St. Vincent Gym. Um, yung sa dating girls high. Siyempre, hindi, hindi ka pwedeng tumakas kasi nasa kanila yung, yung ID mo. Pero wala na kaming balak. Wala na kaming balak tumakas. But anyway, yun. We were escorted there. Walang traffic. Um, yun yung maganda. Yun yung na-appreciate ko talaga. Kasi, um, very controlled. Which is, you know, yung effort pa lang. Um, and coordination. I, I, hands down, I... I really commend um, the city for that. It's not easy to do that. A lot of LGUs can certainly do it, um, but it really takes effort. It's an interagency, inter-office um, yeah, scheme and process. So it's really uh, difficult, I believe. And for us, yung triage process, pabalik ng Baguio, it took... Basically, an hour. So, yun, in-escort kami. Pagdating namin sa St. Vincent's Gym, dun na ako nag-decide na, na mag-vlog. So, I will show you footage of what it looks like. Pagpasok nyo ng triage area, you are also required to wash your hands, spray alcohol. As usual, kukunin yung temperature ninyo. And then, pagdating doon, um, meron kayong form na i-fill up. Kung ano din yung tinanong sa inyo nung umalis kayo ng Baguio. Travel history, temperature, ganyan, signs and symptoms kung meron kayong nararamdaman. By the way, kalimutan ko, yung form na yon. fill up namin nung ano, nung nasa Marcos Highway pa lang kami. I'm not really sure kung saan napunta, pero nag-fill up ulit kami ng the same form pagdating namin sa St. Vincent. And then, yeah. dalit tinanong kami kung um, parang kinonfirm yung laman ng, ng form. Um, and after that, syempre, pick and go lang naman kami or drop and go. So, hindi na kailangan ma-quarantine. Especially, wala naman kaming symptoms then But I think, hindi lang naman yun yung, yun yung criteria. Um, and based dun sa assessment, we were free to go. Binigyan din kami nitong home quarantine instructions. Ganyan yung itsura niya. Tapos, meron ding date kung kailan kami dumaan ng triage with the name. St. Vincent isn't the only place kung saan may triage. Ang kwento sa akin, meron din sa teacher's camp. Kasi tinanong ko kung 24-7 sila. But, 
Yung sa St. Vincent, hindi siya 24-7. Pero yung sa Teacher's Camp, yun yung hanggang gabi daw. It's open specially for Baguio residents na galing abroad. Um, na pauwi na nga. Yun yung nakwento sa akin. And also, sa triage, especially kung may symptoms kayo ganyan or nasa criteria nga na kailangan yung magparapid test or kung ano man yung test na gagawin, libre yung test. Yun ang maganda na nasabi sa akin. Actually, <laughs> hindi ko alam kung bakit, pero dalawa kami ng asawa ko. Dalawa kami ni Jerome. Mine mentally, uh, we were preparing ourselves mentally na ano yun yung swab ba na gagawin, ganyan, kukuhanan ba kami ng dugo. Um, but, fortunately, hindi kami, um, we didn't have to undergo those things. Or go through the, we didn't have to go through those things. Pero, parang, ay, sayang. <laughs> Gusto ko din kasing matest. Although, dito lang naman ako sa bahay. Pero, you know, um, wala lang kung sakali lang naman. Um, and, meron ding, I think, mobile x-ray doon. Yung x-ray nga lang, I forgot. Honest, sorry, nakalimutan kong tanungin kung magkano. Pero, yun lang daw ang hindi libre. Kasi, hindi siya, or wala pang sariling x-ray machine yung, I think, it's the LGU whole triage process took about an hour. Konti lang yung tao. And as usual, you have to bring your um, own ball pen. And yun, nakabalik din kami safe and sound. Yeah, yun lang. That was our whole experience. Oh, personally, natuwa po ako kasi ganun pala ka strikto pabalik ng Baguio. And I hope kung sino man yung mga nagbabalak na um, umalis din or bumalik, Sun sumunod na lang po tayo sa tamang proseso. We had a good experience um, with the whole process. Wala akong marereklamo. Wala, yeah, actually wala akong marerekla marereklamo. Everyone was so nice. Di kami nairita or anything. You know, kasi all the personnel from the police to the kung sino po yung nagmaman dun sa triage area, they were all very courteous. Walang bastos, walang mainit ang ulo. Um, lahat ng tanong namin sinasagot. So, yun. Yung nakakatuwa naman. Okay, so, um, that's basically it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you do have any questions, please comment it down below. And I will do my best to answer all of your questions. So, I will be posting links to the official website where you can fill up the form um, that I mentioned. Yung nasa hdf.bagyo.gov.ph Well, basically, yun na. Yun na yung, yung link doon. And I hope to have helped kung sino man yung makapanood ng vlog na ito. Again, kung na-miss out man siya at the start of the video, this is not to promote non-essential travel going from Baguio and going back to Baguio. I'm not here to promote tourism for now um, here in Baguio kasi as of 7pm July 26, we now have an additional 15 confirmed cases of COVID here in Baguio City which brings the total to 95 confirmed cases. So that's the end of the video guys. I hope everyone stays safe. Mag-ingat po kayo. Um, yeah, stay at home as much as possible. Exercise. Eat healthily. And of course, don't forget to drink your water. Yun lang. Drink your water. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content and updates such as this. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you all. Bye!